So week 43, we're going to be doing butterfly guard again, similar to last week's butterfly guard. You guys may or may not remember this position. Okay, this is a butterfly stretch, so this is the guard we're going to be working from. Okay, so he's going to be on his knees. Okay, the the first uh, go ahead and sit. The first thing that we're going to be doing is what we call an arm drag. Now, a lot of you guys, we've worked arm drags from lots of different positions before. I'm going to go ahead. We're going to be working on three different things. I'm going to show all three things now, okay? And depending on which space in this, maybe you like one part more than another, you can spend more time working on that particular thing. The first thing is I grab the wrist on the same side. I reach behind and I grab behind his tricep on the other side, okay? If I'm in this way, I'm gonna push on that knee with my other foot, okay? Now, if I'm pushing that way, I'm pushing the opposite arm that I'm dragging, and I'm gonna pull it across so that it exposes his back, okay? And now, I already have this hook, I can go ahead and get up and into and take it back, okay? So, from here. Now, real quick, while we're here, let's say he puts this knee up. If this is his knee up, I want to kick out that way. If he switches, I want to kick out that way. Does that make sense? Okay, whatever knee is down is, this, is the side that I want to go to. So I'm pushing one side or the other. Okay, if we're squared up, I can choose here to here, push, drag across. Okay, it's not going to help if I pull him this way. Okay, I need to pull him across my body, expose his back as much as possible. All right. You have an alternate grip. If you don't like this because you're worried about being redragged, okay, I can grab the sleeve here and grab behind the elbow here. In no gi, I would grab the wrist, and as his elbow is bent, there's a little like nub on either side that I can hook here. Do the same position, push away, drag across, and then start fighting to chase the back. All right, that's move number one. Move, move number two. So remember last week we went. And we did this, and we got here, this leg's down, this leg's up. I'm trying to lean kind of towards that back corner, okay, to knock and lift him over into this regular butterfly sweep, okay? But what if, which happens a lot, he posts that foot as soon as I go to do it, okay? So go bring it back down. And I want you not to get fall over. Boom, that happens, right? That's gonna protect him from here. So here's what we're gonna do. Swim under, put it over, and X guard. So anybody that did any of the advanced classes sees what we're doing here, okay? Come in that way, bring your that knee that way. So as I fall, I just dive under, I bring my foot in front of his hip, okay? And now I have what we call X guard. So my knees are on either side, my feet are here. This foot is in front of his hip, this foot is behind his knee. This hand's grabbing his knee here. Now I have lots of sweeps that I can do from here. I just push, create space, get up, Okay, and I end up on top. Okay, lots of different possibilities. You can play with them as we do it. So, I get the traditional number one butterfly sweep. I go to do it. As I go to fall, he posts that foot up. Boom. Okay, to block so I can't knock him over. Swim underneath. My foot here that's not being used, I lift, I put this over my shoulder. This foot goes to in front of his hip now. Now I have lots of sweeps. If I walk, I can pull this arm. Sweep that way, over, this way, right, left, upside down. Okay, that's number two. Number three is a pass. So he's gonna be butterflying me. Okay, let's go this way. Here's, he's gonna be here. Remember what I said about the position. He's not gonna go straight to the side, because I can post my knee. He doesn't wanna go straight to his back, okay? He wants to kinda go on that corner. So what do I wanna do for him? I wanna put him on his back. Right? His strength of elevating me is going to be a lot less. So I put him to his back and I pinch and I want to bring his heels to his butt as much as possible. Okay? So I'm pulling like this with my arms and bringing my knees close. So I'm really trying to get here. Okay? Now, here's what we're going to do. This you may or may not like depending on the sort of thing you like. Okay? I'm going to put my head on this side. Okay? Head on this side. This hand goes like this. Okay? This hand goes to the floor, and I'm gonna go up and over. Okay? So, I'm gonna start here. Push, tight. Squeeze and tight. My head goes that way so that my legs can go that way. So 
So if my legs are going to go that way, I want to block his legs. Okay? This hand, I post, because this is essentially a one-handed cartwheel on the shoulder. My shoulder is going to be a lot of weight right here. Okay? Head and arm. Now I up. If this is the way I'm passing, this leg goes first. Okay, make them suffer a little bit when you're up there. Okay, now I'm gonna give you guys that may like that a little bit of alternate. I push, I'm here, maybe he's got a good hook on my foot, right? And I feel like, ah, if I try, he's gonna just hang on to me. Okay, here's what I can do. Here, I'm gonna go pull, and then. Like, no, 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 no. What's that? Did you see the Patriot one? The Patriot version of this? Yeah. For real though, I just go boom. That's how I get him down. <laughs> Instead of the nice shoulder push, I just go boom. And you pinch, pinch here, boom. Nice and wide. I keep the legs blocked and I rotate towards. Okay, so that's just an alternate version of that hop over. Questions? Concerned? Is there any chance that he'll roll over with you? Not if I get a good base. Okay, if I curl in a ball, yeah. Right, so I go, boom, put my feet there. Same thing if I even just go to the side, okay? I just gotta plant my feet, create space away from him. Just to answer his question, please. I push, if I stay small, he potentially could come, okay? So, as soon as I get upside down, I go like this with my legs, okay? So I go here, pinch, okay? Now you can't go right or left. If I'm just gonna do the hop over, push here, this arm blocks. This way. Questions, anything else? Got it, so we have arm drag. We have the number two, if you would, for the butterfly sweep. I go to butterfly, he posts, so I go to X guard. Okay, and then I have this pass. Where I'm hopping over. Good. Let's try. One, two, three. 